Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are currently having a uh, bit of a helicopter queue, there's no doubt about that. But we're also waiting on developing our final hub out here. And I think I've decided that this particular series will be over on episode 50. So we'll have a few more, to be sure. And there will be a poll going up in the next few days, it won't be up yet. But there will be a poll going up in the next few days on what should follow this. And I realize this is not developed as much as it possibly could be, but at the same time, I've largely achieved what I wanted to, and I want to just work on finishing up this area over here. Now, these helicopters are <laughs> problematic. I mean, we've got these Chimera helicopters. I can't say I'm a fan of that. And we've got a pretty pretty big helicopter queue. There's no doubt about that one. That said, I do still believe that over time, some of this will clean up. I'm going to go ahead and take it up to speed 3 for right now. And we do have a goods shortage over here. This is, of course, not shocking. And this is a reason why we started doing some industrial areas over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. There's still more demand for commerce. I wish that there wasn't, but we can put in more commerce over here. I would love to put in more residential and industrial, not commercial right now, but alas, that's where de the demand is currently. Now we don't have anything like parks or anything like that over here. There's also some sickness over here that we may want to think about doing something about. I wouldn't necessarily mind putting in a hospital over here. Wonderful. So that will help anyway. These guys are uh, getting a pretty good view of the ruined castle up here. Bird's eye view. And you can see that up here anyway, the helicopters are moving along reasonably well. Not too much waiting. There is a little bit of waiting going on up here, but I think... Oh, we do have another helicopter coming in before this one takes off. We've definitely got a queue, which tells me that we should probably back off on our number of helicopters per line. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring this back, say, to 400%. Uh, approximately. Approximately 400%. And uh, we'll see how that ends up going. We're not going to be able to target exactly 400% in any sort of a reasonable time frame, but we'll just have it be something along the lines of this. So 400%, fantastic. And we'll bring... which one was that? Was that this one? Yeah, this one's next. Okay. That was line 8, so we'll do line 5. Bring that down to 400% or so. And the reason I'm doing this isn't because we're not keeping up with the demand, which we objectively are not doing, but it's because our route lineup simply doesn't have the capacity for this many helicopters at the locations where they need to be. So we'll just bring that back to 400% and we'll see how that ends up going. What's going on over here? Honestly, if they have lack of goods up in this hub, that's kind of their own fault. They have a road connection. Like, I'm not concerned. Oh hey, Megalopolis! So that gets us our final land purchase, which I had said was going to be this up here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I still think that's going to be the case. Okay, so we'll, we'll purchase this up here. That does allow us to fill out these roads. The question is, do we want to? The answer to that is a solid maybe. We're going to have to move quite a number of things over here, and ultimately that's not that problematic. We can put a waste processing complex over here. We can put the solar updraft tower, like all of these can go up here. And I don't know why I didn't build them up here to begin with, if I'm honest. I probably should have. So let's just move all of these structures except for the cargo train terminal and the helicopter stop. Those will remain where they are. Now, we shouldn't need this power line anymore, I believe. Or this power line. This power line may remain necessary. 
And actually, this one does as well. So we'll put that back in, and then we will run a power line up over there like that. That all looks good. We are, of course, going to need a water connection here, and so we shall have one. Excellent. And that, of course, means that we can build in the remainder of these roads. So we'll bring these in at 90 degrees and have them curve in something along the lines of this is actually perfect right here. So we'll do that. And of course, we will get rid of this section. Wonderful. And then I would love to connect this in simply like that. I'm actually shocked that the train system ends up working here. What does it feel like to that is baffling to me. What does it feel like to okay, I'm, I'm very happy about that. So let's go ahead and run this one next. Once again, we're going to bring that out at 90 degrees and curve it in so that it hits approximately where it needs to, which is right there. And of course, we will get rid of this section, which is illegal. And we will not we will not tolerate it. I built this out of the wrong road type, didn't I? I did indeed. So we will just upgrade all of those. Wonderful. And then we'll connect that in there. Perfect. And we will continue building these. Just need to have that approximately there. We'll do the trick. Get rid of that highly illegal bridge. I'm also going to knock that back just a tiny amount there. And we'll have that curve in, like so. Excellent. We've only got a couple more of these roads to build. Three, to be precise. So let's just go ahead and get them done. Are these roads incorrect? No, I don't think they are. They are. Maybe. We're making the trees bigger. Oh, right. It's because they were one way. <laughs> That would definitely help if I made that correct. There we go. Excellent. So we'll do that, and we will, of course... It, it's kind of weird that one way has smaller trees, but okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and get these last couple of roads built out to, say... Here. Excellent. And we'll just bring that on back and connect this in something like that. I don't necessarily like that shape, but it'll do for now. And then we'll bring this one out over here to... It needs to be a little bit steeper, I feel like. Yeah, this is a slightly better corner here. Out to there. Okay, we'll take that back. We'll take that section back as well. And then we'll just bring that in like so. And then there's one road to go. And that's it. Right there. Excellent. And then this I'd like to connect in, say, there. It's not the prettiest, to be sure. But there, we at least have some uh, coverage out here. Let's go ahead and remove this section of water pipe. And we are, of course, going to run our water line over to here and then to here. Now, this does leave us a bit of a gap here. We'll just go ahead and fill that in. The reason that that gap exists, of course, is because of our non-standard situation. And we'll just take that out to there. That's perfect. And out to there. No gaps other than the one. I like it. That is, of course, excellent. Now, we do have some abandoned structures over here because we have lack of goods. Honestly, this this isn't shocking. This isn't at all surprising. We're going to put in more commercial over here because apparently there's more commercial demand. I have no idea why, but sure. We'll just fill the rest of this area with commercial. Like, they really shouldn't be demanding commercial right now. What they really need is industrial for good production. We'll put in a little bit more industrial over here. And I'm just going to take that out to, say, here. Maybe, like, one more circle. We'll take it out to here, and then beyond this, I'd like to switch over to offices, just so that we don't pollute the waterway too much. 
So we'll do something like that for the purposes of goods production, and we might do the same thing up over here. But for right now, we're going to switch to offices out over here. Okay, now I'm not going to do this whole area. I'm just doing a small area so that I don't forget to do this a little later on. We still have some helicopters queuing up, but it seems to be much better now. Definitely. Yeah, it's certainly better. So let's continue removing these over here, and this will continue to drive down our commercial demand, and that's really, really good. We do have some residential demand, and we're definitely going to satisfy that up over this way. Excellent. And we'll just continue to zone that in up over here. That is likely enough demand, or enough residential for this demand right now. Likely. But we'll see if that's actually the case. Now, it looks like we're not receiving a whole lot of cargo in from this train terminal. I'm wondering if we think we could fit in an airport over here. A cargo airport, to be precise. I feel like that would be very helpful, but no. <laughs> no, that's way too big. Way, way too big. We could fit one up here, but that would defeat the purpose, since we can't build bridges. We could build one up here, but we'd have to flatten the terrain. And I feel like that's not super helpful. Hypothetically, in order to build one internally, how much space would we need to clear? A lot. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. I would rather not place it up here. I would really like to have one somewhere down here. But they're just so big. We could go via tunnel. We have done that in the past. Just thinking about where we'd have space to start a tunnel. Over here. So the idea would be that we would have a six-lane road with decorative trees that would come out over this way and probably need a sneeze. Yes, I did indeed need a sneeze. Fantastic. We're going to go underground here, and then we're going to take this over. We're going to have to go underneath here, which is going to be interesting to be sure. Uh, we could... Is this as down as we go? That slope too steep over there. I see. So we could maybe take it over this way, like that. Okay. This is going to be real awkward. There's no way around it. But we're going to have an underwater highway here. That goes up over here. And then over here, it's going to come up to the surface. And we're going to want that to come out as quickly as possible, like so. And then it's just going to do something like that, and then we'll build a cargo airport over here. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we're not going to have power. We're not going to have water. So we're going to need power over here. We can't build power over the water. We can definitely have water that runs out over here, though. That's a piece of cake, like that. Now we're just going to need power. And what is the power requirement of this airport? 2,400 kilowatts. Okay. So, if we were to power this with wind turbines, that would actually do the, ca do the trick. We could actually power this with a single wind turbine. Because this is measured in kilowatts. That's 2.4 megawatts. This generates up to 10 megawatts. So we're going to dedicate a wind turbine to powering this cargo airport. Once that comes online, this should be sufficient. Yeah, that's sufficient, all right. And this is a nice big six-lane road that is bi-directional and will connect in up over here. And will likely overwhelm Oak Street, is my guess. That's definitely something to consider. <laughs> no doubt about that. 
I do think that Oak Street will be overwhelmed by this. It's a silly plan, but a plan nonetheless. A bad plan is better than no plan at all. Well, that kind of depends on how bad the plan is, right? We definitely don't need this power line anymore. Let's get rid of that. And of course, the primary purpose of doing this is to make it so that there's more goods coming in over here. Another thing we could potentially do is put in another cargo train terminal over on this side. Now that we have this over here, we could maybe cram one in. Right there is going to be really awkward for us because of the metro line. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. So, it does that. That doesn't really adjust the coastline. I think this would absolutely overload Oak Street. I'm going to get that out of there. I think that's deeply unhelpful. And we may be better off putting one in over here if we've got space. But there's not really enough room in these blocks for one, which is slightly unfortunate, to be sure. We're going to continue to have a lot of abandoned commercial structures over here. I mean, we can bring in goods by air over here. As far as our train goods, they are coming in over here. And they don't seem to be coming in all that commonly. Which is, I think, why we're having this issue. I'm not shocked by this issue, to be completely clear. Oh, hello. I just went into my wrong scene. Let's bring that back and uh, turn off the media source for right now. Excellent. Fantastic. Now it is back. Okay, I forgot that I keybound that to F1. So, uh, work in progress. <laughs> work in progress. We're not currently seeing any cargo coming into this cargo airport. I'm assuming it takes time for that to uh, find its way around, though. Oh, hello. This one actually is coming into this cargo airport. Wonderful. And you are returning to facility, but you don't have anything there. These guys are exporting. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get rid of another abandoned structure over in our commercial area. Again, it's not a shock that we have a goods issue over here. We're trying to produce some. We're also trying to import one, or import some, that is, via train and via air. So eventually, we'll be able to get some goods down here, but as of right now, it's going to remain rough. Our capacity is quite low. That is a large helicopter queue for this helicopter stop. Okay, so this is just a thunderstorm. In theory, we don't need to worry too much about that. We've also got a goods issue over here. And over here. Okay. Yeah, we've got goods issues basically everywhere. And so that means that I definitely want to expand our industrial section. And so that is exactly what we'll do. Hello, Thunderstorm. I don't necessarily want to be looking at you right now. Thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay I'm sure it'll be fine. The storm has passed. And we're just going to put in some more industrial over here to produce additional goods. And we are, of course, also increasing our capacity to import additional goods. That is to say, well, all that to say, though, it's not going to be very speedy that we develop this industrial area. There's not much demand for industrial right now. So it's going to take a while. There's no doubt about that. We're going to continue to have issues. In fact, we can take this power line out of here, I believe. Well, we've got a power issue over here for sure. Uh, let's take a look at that in a moment. We did have lightning take out our power line. What's our connection looking like? Ah, this power line was eliminated. 
that would do it. Also, this one. So our primary and secondary power lines were both destroyed. Okay. Well, that should solve that issue, in theory. For now, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And we'll get rid of this abandoned structure. We definitely require additional goods, and we're increasing our capacity for those goods. I'm wondering if we're having a bottleneck on our trains anywhere? I don't see one. Well, there's maybe a bottleneck up here on our trains. They're not coming in. Well, they are coming in over here. There's no bottleneck. Let's let's keep an eye on this and see if there are any other trains in queue. No? Okay. Yep, we're not having a train bottleneck. There's some traffic over here. But that doesn't look too bad, all things considered. And our power's out over here. And the solar updraft building is on fire. <laughs> yeah, this power, or this thunderstorm is uh, definitely causing some power issues. There's no doubt about that one. So let's reconnect that, and this one got taken out again. Perfect. And this one got taken out too. Okay. And this one as well. Wow. Well, I don't think this one is ultimately necessary anymore, so we'll remove this. Okay. I mean, lots of businesses down here are failing from lack of goods. But now that this cargo airport is being relatively heavily utilized, I think that should be alleviated. It should be a pretty simple solution for them to get through here. I do want to adjust our speed over here. It's currently 60 kph. I'm going to bump that up to 100 kph. Okay, and this as well. All the way through here. Can I just... Click and drag? No. Sad. Well, that's okay. We will bump up our speed limits all the way through here. Just got to get these goods in as soon as we can. I don't want people spending a ton of time on the drive, if at all possible. It's not quite a doubling, and we'll see how that ends up going in terms of speed. We may bump this up a little bit further. So we'll do something like that. Now I'm not shocked that this is giving us a bit of a jam here. Let's go ahead and put in a traffic light here. Oh, there already is one. Okay. So let's just observe this for a moment. Yeah. I'm not shocked by what we're witnessing here in the slightest. have some backup over here as well. Last year, horse economy three smashed PC sales records and okay. the industry by so, storm. Now something I'm going to do is I want to alleviate stress on this intersection, and that's something that we can definitely do. We're going to do like a highway on-ramp over to... Uh, that would be ideal, but maybe from like back here? Yes. Like that. I don't think we can squeeze one through here. No. But we can do that, which should, in theory, and I want to make sure that we do not have a traffic light here. I want to make sure that... In fact, this can maybe be uncontrolled at this point. I want to make sure that we are yielding here, like so. Okay. Let's see how much that cleans this up. It would be nice if this wasn't considered an intersection on this half of the street, only on this half. Oh, you know what? We can definitely do that because I want to make sure that this only allows that sort of turn. 
Okay. Like that. Excellent. That's a lot of pedestrians milling about over here. We probably want to create them an elevated pathway to cross over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's give them something like... Yeah, that space already occupied. I would love to bring it... This is going to be really hor horrible. I'd love to bring it back over this. Why? I wouldn't love to. I would love to have it just go straight across. But instead, this is what we're going to have to do. I'm really, really unhappy with it. But we'll have it come in something kind of like this. It's awful. Maybe something kind of like that. And then we would, of course, forbid pedestrians. No, I don't want to clear traffic. I want to... Where was that? Junction restrictions. I want to not allow pedestrians here, or here, or here, or here. Or here. Okay. Basically, they're forced to take the monstrosity. Perfect. Actually, they shouldn't be allowed here either. So let's go ahead and forbid them here as well. There. That should mean... We should also forbid them over here. Like that. Okay. No pedestrians allowed anywhere over in this region. And that actually has cleaned up this traffic extremely substantially. I'm very, very happy to see that. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to fix some of these issues. <laughs> you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.